If you're anything like me, maybe you felt handcuffed by all the subscriptions you need or it feels like you need to run your real estate business. Literally spending hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars that it feels like you need to run your real estate business on software that you may not even know how to use. And the purpose of today's video is to help you break free from all the garbage that you're never gonna actually use and tell you the only software you're gonna need to run your real estate business and do deals. And the only software you actually need is a software where you can pull a list. Now, not just any list, guys. Stay with me for a second. I'm talking about the list that actually performs in this current market. Not stuff that used to work two years ago, three years ago, I see a lot of outdated information. I'm talking about the list that we use every single week to do three to five contracts per week. I'm gonna show you what that list is right now, and I'm gonna show you how to pull it in the software I use to do so. I use a software called Batch Leads. If you use my code in the description, it's batchleads.io forward slash no fluff, you're actually gonna get your first month half off. You're also gonna get a free week trial and you'll get a thousand free buyer seller leads. And that is plenty to do your first deal with the list that I'm gonna share with you. Now they have two different payment plans. Honestly, it doesn't matter which one you choose. I would venture to say stick with the hundred dollar one. And I'm talking about getting rid of prop stream. I'm talking about getting rid of privy. I had so many different softwares that was used for the same purpose, which is pulling a list. You won't need any of them. You just need one place to pull a list. And I'm gonna share with you why now. So this $99 a month subscription is perfect for the list we're gonna pull. So after you get access to batch leads, again, just take the free week trial if that's what you need. I'm gonna log into my account. So we're gonna jump into my account. You can see that I actually have money in here. This is something that I use. 173,000 properties are in my account. None of that really matters. I'm gonna share with you how to go about pulling a list using batch leads. Again, the easiest way to find properties right now that you can call and get a deal done. Like how powerful would it be for you to take this video today take the information, go call somebody, have a warm opportunity, get that thing closed within 24 hours. Before this current market and the high interest rates, that just wasn't possible. So let me show you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to property search. Now within property search, let's pick a city. So since I'm in Phoenix, we're just gonna stay in Phoenix. I personally love using the tool called the boundary search in batch leads. I will click the polygon and I'm just gonna draw a shape. So that's step one. We are going to draw a shape around the greater Phoenix area. You can do this anywhere, any major market across the United States. What am I looking for in any given market? I'm actually not gonna go off market. I'm gonna stay on market. If you just saw my video where it was the difference between REI Reply and Future Proof CRM, our CRM is built specifically to reach out to properties that are sitting on market. Why is that? Because we know those people have raised their hand and they wanna sell. We just need to present a solution for them that would actually work. So what I'm gonna do now that I have my circumference here, I have 1.574 million properties, okay? I'm gonna filter that down. I don't wanna call all those people. That's not what I'm looking for. Instead, I'm gonna go to MLS status. I'm gonna look for properties that are on market. So that means MLS status, yes, and it is set for active, okay? That's 13,625 properties. Still way too many. Years back, if I only had an hour or two to dedicate to my business per day, I'd probably be like, oh, you're gonna need to get a virtual assistant or something. Nowadays, an hour or two is really all you need because the properties are right here in front of your face. All you gotta do is pick up the phone and dial them. So this is active MLS. Now, what is my strategy? What am I really looking to do? Well, if anybody's trying to sell their home right now and is sitting on market and it's still not selling, they're probably way more motivated than the person who just put their property on market, right? So let me go ahead and do days on market filter and let me do 45 days. It's gonna cut me down to 77, almost about 7,800 properties, okay? That's good, we're niching our list down a little bit. Okay, well now what else? Well, if anyone wants to sell their property and they have it listed on market and it's been sitting for 45 days, well, what if it doesn't have a ton of equity? If it doesn't have a ton of equity, they're probably not banking on making a bunch of money on the sale. And I would love to be able to acquire homes that have low interest debt that can beat what the banks can offer right now. 7%, 7.5%, 8%. Okay, well, Matt, how do I do that? I'm gonna go down here to valuation and equity and I'm gonna type in 15%. So all that means is a property that's worth $100,000, that means that they have less than 15% equity in that property, meaning that they only have 15 grand in equity basically, and they owe 85. And you can just do the math as the numbers go up. So that took me down to 412 properties. Now, if you're used to doing direct to seller marketing, you'd be like, oh my gosh, that's not enough people to call. In fact, this is actually too many people to call with this strategy because we're gonna go in with a creative offer and we're gonna see if these 
properties that are sitting on market. We're going to work with the agency if their client would ever consider a creative offer to get the house sold. We can make it a win-win scenario. We're going to pay the agent. We're going to get the seller money that they're hoping to walk away with, and they can lock in top dollar price. All I need are the right terms, right? Because there's two pieces to every single real estate transaction. You have the price and you have the terms. So if the seller gets their price as an investor, I need my terms. And if the seller gets their terms, as in I want to sell quick, I want to sell within seven days, 10 days, then you're probably going to get your price as an investor. That's the cash offer. But for these specific properties, we're going for our terms, okay? So 15% or less equity. I'm going to go back up and I don't want to talk to the LLCs. I don't want to talk to hedge funds. So I'm going to go ownership type and I'm going to click on individual. Don't want to talk to the LLCs. Okay, that took me down to 300. Perfect. I'm going to go back to MLS status. One key strategy you're going to find when it comes to finding these types of properties that are going to work as long-term rentals is the first question I'm going to ask myself. If they have a mortgage on the property, because I'm going after properties that don't have much equity, is that mortgage payment less than area rent? Because there's thousands and thousands of investors who want to buy properties where the debt's in place, it's at two and a half, three, three and a half percent, and it cash flows as a long-term rental. So in order to do that, I'm gonna need to stay more affordable. So in Phoenix, affordability really stops at around $425,000. So I'm gonna put 425 here as the max list price, and boom, I'm left with 108 properties. That's great. I'm gonna do one more thing to this list. I'm gonna go to property characteristics, and I'm just going to call single family homes. That takes me down to 71. I apply and there they are right here, guys. Let me show you some examples of what these properties look like. This property here on Owens, sale and loan. I can click in batch leads. It tells me, well, they bought it for 366 back in 2021 and they got a second loan against the property in 2023. This is probably some sort of forbearance or some loan they got to catch up on their payments that they fell behind. Well, this listed at 409. You add up basically what we think the mortgage would be, right? So it's it's estimated that the total mortgage balance here in batch says it's about 367 and they're selling it for 409. Guys, I want you to take 409 and multiply that by 0.93. That's how much they would have to pay to pay a listing agent, a buyer's agent, and closing costs. And that doesn't even account if it needs any sort of repairs or any things that come up in the buyer inspection. So this person is not banking on making any money to sell their house. But what if I could give them money? What if I can give them 10 grand when they thought they weren't getting any? What if I can give them 15, 20 grand on a $410,000 house, take over their mortgage payments and still help with the agent? My gosh, this could be a win-win scenario, not just for us as an investor, but for the seller too. And these are the type of opportunities we're looking for. Properties just like this one here on Owens. The debt was originated in 2021, so it's probably pretty good interest rate. And there's 71 of these. So what if the only thing I had to do every single day was reach out to one of these 71 properties? You best believe I'm going to have some good conversations and I'm going to have some good opportunities. So in the description of this video, I actually have the script that we use. So guys, download that script. Literally, if you just say the script, it stinking works. These are the type of opportunities we look for in the No Fluff Challenge. So if you ever join our No Fluff Challenge, the next one is December 11th or 15th, depending on when you guys are watching this video, you'll see a link in the description so you can sign up for that. It's free. Me and the team go live for three hours every single day calling these types of properties negotiating and getting these deals done fun thing is these properties are worth anywhere from ten thousand to twenty thousand dollars each crazy and look this is the lowest hanging fruit in this current market as long as interest rates stay high these types of opportunities are going to be plentiful for all the investors that know what to look for. And guys, I'm not playing that game of cash because I played it too long and I hated it. You got to go get a property 50 cent on the dollar. And then next thing you know, you go do an inspection. The property is not near as good condition as what you thought it was. And then you try to sell it to a fix and flipper. You only have one person who wants to buy that kind of house and it's a fix and flipper. And they go and they say, look, we can't pay this much and we need to renegotiate. And then you play this whole game and you end up having to cancel contracts. Something no one ever talks about, but the wholesaling game in general, about 30 to 40% of those transactions actually close. When it comes to creative wholesaling, you're looking at anywhere from 90 to 95 percent of these deals actually closing because we know the condition of the property we're working with real estate professionals and it's all math if i structure the deal properly it'll close every stinking time which is great because then you can really start banking on some checks right and the fun thing is i guess the hidden benefit of all this is that the agent that i bought the house from when no one else wanted it they're now on my side i can look at right now in my real estate business i don't need to pay for cold calling pay for texting or do anything like that in fact guys we're spending 30 dollars for a deal crazy. But I can look at my business and I can say, we can stop everything and I can still get six to eight contracts next month just for my realtors bringing me more referrals. That's the powerful piece here, guys. So when it comes to all the subscriptions and all the things you need to pay for to run your business, you don't need much. We use our CRM, which you saw the previous video here on our channel. If you haven't, go check it out. Maybe there'll be a link somewhere around this video. But outside of the CRM, we only use batch leads because it makes it so stinking simple. I can select all these properties here. I can add these properties to a list. Let's just say this is my YouTube video list, my ad, and I'm going to save this 
Let's do YouTube video. I'm gonna save this as a list. These 71 properties are gonna go into my list tab. Under here, all I'm gonna do is type in YouTube video, hit apply filter. There's the properties, they're starting getting added in. And I can literally click on these properties, click on the MLS tab, and I can call Nathan Claiborne. Here's his phone number. Hey Nathan, reaching out about Desert Springs Way. Is that property still available? Awesome, well what's the feedback been like at this point? I'm looking to buy more properties, looking to add more rentals to my portfolio, and this one really caught my eye. What's going on with it, right? Follow the script, you're gonna have great conversations. We don't need to talk to thousands and thousands of people. We don't need to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on subscriptions. We just need this, guys. I don't know how else to say it. I wish I can just reach to the screen and say, just do this thing. You don't need to spend crazy money to do deals. Again, $30 a deal is crazy. And you're gonna have great conversations today and your real estate business is going to thrive in 2024. So guys, I hope you liked this video. Hope you got value from it. Give me a comment below. What are you currently doing for marketing and how do you plan on implementing this in your business? Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.